Der Tod war ständig da. Death was always present and that had an influence on me, Peter Nadas says. The Hungarian writer experienced the communistic dictatorship in his country, spying and a ban on publication. Today he lives far away from the hustle and bustle in a small village in northwest Hungary. A few years ago he had a near-death experience about which he wrote in his book The Own Death. At one point it says, unfortunately God is an embarrassing fallacy. God as an embodied person is a fallacy, but the source of the creation is not a fallacy. Well, they say the world was created by the Big Bang, but what happened before the Big Bang? And where did this matter come from that was thrown into the world or into the universe by the Big Bang? And what is the universe? All these questions are answered with this unity, with this indescribable unity when you experience something like that. So unity and simultaneity equals infinity equals God. Es war am helllichten Tag mitten auf den Straßen von Budapest. It was broad daylight in the middle of the streets of Budapest. Suddenly Peter Nadas notices that he can no longer breathe, that he is getting hot and cold. He is taken to hospital with a suspected heart attack. At that minute the doctors came with these two irons and started with the resuscitation. Then it got dark. And when I stopped seeing and hearing, I no longer felt anything, but still I was aware that this was absolutely liberating. I toppled over, like from one room to another room. This was an incredible new world. I knew I was dying. That wasn't terrible, that wasn't awful, that was beautiful. And the moment I saw the light, and this is a pretty magnificent light appearance, then I knew where I was. I didn't hear anything. I mean, I didn't hear any voices. I just saw people and movements, not from above as it is often described. but also from a rather unusual angle, as if I was looking at the room through a camera from above, seeing myself and the surroundings. They tried to resuscitate me on the flat treatment couch, and unfortunately they succeeded after three and a half minutes. And then you are torn out of this eternity again, and you have to confront yourself with it. This is corporeality, this is body, this is me. After someone has been brought back by force, nothing for them is of concern anymore, neither the things nor other people, neither their own knowledge nor their own life story, nothing. I couldn't go out on the streets anymore, everything was obscene. The people were also obscene, downright obscene. And the objects too. Everything was incredibly ugly. Everything bothered me, so to speak. 
It was too loud. Everyone was talking too loudly, listening to the radio too loudly, the vehicles, everything was too loud, too rude. They didn't give enough time each other, didn't really listen. So that was all very strange. Course. Course. It took about five years until I could accept this life again. I never really came back, but it took about five years to come to terms with this life again. In der Minute meines Todes erlebe ich meine Geburt. The minute I die, I experience my birth. Death and birth are one, according to the writer. These are roughly the phases. I come out of the womb, I tip over, then I enter the birth canal and twist and turn forward. I turn from right to left, I think. I was taken back, physically taken back, but it is impossible to get me back completely. That sounds harsh, but all you can realistically say about it is harsh. You know what to do so that others accept it. But every relationship must be recreated by inflicting violence on yourself. Not seeing the place of things within the structure, but the things that others consider to be real. Feel the rough ribbing of the hose of the vacuum cleaner with your fingers. Of course it is real. Es ist doch klar. 